<clears throat> G'day guys and girls, Kieran and French here back with another live chat with friends. Today it is a Sunday, it's been a nice day. Um, I'm doing this video a little bit later on than I would normally, but that's because the guys that I do have coming on today, they're in a different area, uh, a complete different area where I am. I'm in Melbourne and the guys that I am currently, I guess, talking to, they're somewhere in Australia, they're traveling around, all around Australia, and that's what they do for a job and a living, and that's what they love to do, and that's something I've always inspired wanting to do for the rest, I guess, the rest of my life, if I could. But just remember, guys, these chats are all about mental health. I just wanted to see how these guys are traveling, what's been happening with them, if they've been in a lockdown, if they've had to do any quarantines. And then we go into some lighthearted stuff talking about how they are in general, what's been going on with the cars, what's, what's their favorite place that they've traveled to so far, and what kind of cool things they've done along the way and got them into four-wheel driving. So today, I'm just chatting to some awesome people, and there's Josh and Michaela. They are from Traveling Campers, but I'll let them uh, introduce themselves soon. I'll get them to jump in, and uh, hopefully we can start getting this chat rolling. I have started a little bit earlier than I would normally. I did normally say about five o'clock, but hey, I am eager, and I wanted to eat just to have a chat to these awesome people and see how they're going through these awesome, well, not really awesome, these um, really difficult times in Australia. So I'm going to send them a request now and hopefully I can get them on board. Otherwise, if you guys are watching me, there we go. Send me a request. Let's go for this one and get them both talking and see how they are. <clears throat> hey, guys. How are you? Hey. <laughs> good, good, mate. What's going on? You know, just a normal sunny day in Melbourne until it uh, starts raining again. But how are you guys? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we're good. We're good, mate. Yeah, actually, yeah, we're, we're, we're great, to be honest. <laughs> awesome. We'll jump straight into this one. Do you want to tell me your names, your Instagram handle, and where you are currently living? Yeah, well, I'm Josh. And, Hi, Michaela. Uh, yeah, at traveling.campus. That's our, our Instagram name. And, yeah, we're currently... Uh, living like, in this? Yeah, living in this, yeah. which we're, we're in, in Coral Bay in, in Western Australia. So this is our home for today anyway. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Yes, I do remember you guys used to live in, was it Mildura? You were living in Victoria, is that correct? Victoria. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah, about five and a half months ago, I reckon, was yeah, we were in Victoria. For, about six hours from Melbourne. Yeah, for all, all of our lives, born and bred. So Awesome. And then you have bit the bullet and uh, now you have an awesome car and camper trailer that gets set up and you're just traveling around Australia. Is that correct? Yeah, it's exactly right. Like we've, we've been doing traveling campers for four or five, four, five, four, and, four and a half years four. now, maybe. Um, so just, you know, your weekend trips and all that, again, just, we got a lot of ideas and inspiration from uh, just other people sharing their travels and, you know, the big pages like Patriot Campers and All for Adventure and all that stuff. Yeah. And just, you know, we started to do some travels and just wanted to share our stuff as well. That's how it all sort of started. And then, um, yeah, then we just did our first three months trip about th three years ago. And just from there, we'll just hooked. Like we just like, this is, this is us. We want to live like this. We want to do this forever or at least, you know, at least do a 12 months trip or, you know, want to live yeah. on the road. And that was just <laughs> where it all started. And from there, just, uh, yeah, kick started it. And then, yeah, now here we are, um, probably awesome. you know, a year and a half, yeah, year and a half from there. And, you know, this is, this is life for us now. <laughs> that, I must say, that's, uh, I guess, something everyone sort of strives to do. They want to, I guess, caravan, uh, camper van, whatever it is, and they want to travel to Australia, and, and you guys are doing it. So it's definitely something I want to tick off the bucket lift, and I have been watching both of you guys for a long time now, and I'm jealous. I'm very jealous, <laughs> just to say, <laughs> to say the least. But I want to chat to yeah. you guys and just see how you both are doing. So obviously, like I said, we, you have been from Melbourne. How has that been with, I guess, traveling through different states? Like, how are you going mentally? Are you guys coping? And then, um, yeah, is there been anything that's been sort of stopped you from, I guess, doing some content or whatever throughout that, I guess, time traveling? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, thanks for asking, man. And like I said, I really, really like what you're doing here with the whole, you know, the mental health side of things of what's going awareness. on and creating awareness and just getting the, I guess, we've got this awesome four drive travel community. Uh, that you know, yeah, just yeah. bring. We just we, all, at the end of the day, all we want to do is just um, you know, crack cans and talk, talk travel for driving caravans. Like that's what that's what we all love doing. So yeah, we really appreciate uh, what you're doing here. But and, you know, we've we've been pretty lucky, or very lucky, considering like you know, you know, people sort of say like you know, oh, I wish I could do what you guys did, and this, this, this. Like 
we started putting things in the first lockdown we started putting things in place we just yeah. we didn't we didn't like it like i'm not someone that you know i don't like being told what to do especially when it's around you know my my business like yeah. that I've, I've worked my ass off and the way, you know, just we, the way that we were living day to day getting yeah, told what to do just didn't like it like you know again not going to a, a sad story because plenty of people work out there but like, you know the, yeah i definitely you know, know, i definitely know those feels yeah i definitely i know yeah. those feels where you're coming from Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Sunday night, next next morning, you, you know, on the news, they say you can't open up your business. I had a remedial massage business. You know, couldn't open up. I'm on the couch in a fucking pink dressing gown, applying for Centrelink, and and Michaela's going to. You know, she was I lucky still, enough I to. I was an essential worker, so I could still go to work. Yeah, yeah, lucky enough to go to work, and you know, that was just the biggest kick in the nuts for me. I was always the sort of, you know, the bread maker, I guess, and all that, and just and to go from that to applying to Centrelink was just like something I just. Didn't want to. I was like, I hated it. I'm like, I'm never letting this happen again. And that's mm -hmm. when we started putting putting things in place. And then, yeah, like not even not even 12 months later, we were, things oh, no. were looking good. We started an online business and all that, and just yeah. that was our ticket out. Uh, and then that's just sort of, you know, we just, you know, you sort of got to put your balls on the line a little bit. Like we literally just decided to sell the house. Like we're going to rent it out for six months, and we just thought. Crazy. Nah, let's just get rid of it. We didn't want any ties with Madura, Victoria, yep. COVID, you know, rent, rent is coming in and not being able to work. And yep. a week later, when we got to leave, we started to head up to the Fink Desert Race and, yeah, lockdowns. Oh, yeah. And, and Victoria. Yeah, and it's pretty much been a shit show since. So it's been, <laughs> it's been hard. Yes. It's been hard. It's been hard for us to watch what's going on. Like, um, you know, we've missed out. Darwin had a quick lockdown, but we sort of we sort of we missed that. Stayed, we just stayed below. Yeah, um, yeah, got into got into WA, and yeah, here we are. And like, it's just it's so weird. Like, yeah. there's not there's not one rule over here. Like, there's not one restriction, one rule. And you know, we don't have TV reception much. But when we do get it, like, it's like we're watching um, something from a different America, country, yeah. America or something. But it's back home. Yeah. Like, I think that's what's been so hard for us. Of you know, we're in the same country and you know depending on what postcode you are whatever is you know what your life's going to look like you can work can't work mm. like it's just it's mm. just just crazy yeah but That's yeah we we've, we've been lucky we're grateful um but we're also proud of what we've done as well because we removed ourselves from that situation and not everyone can do it not everyone wants to that's totally sweet but that's what we we're always you know follow your heart like that's our biggest thing that's what we've always done and we've led it to here and um we're happy yeah yeah, awesome. Uh, I must say, you guys have done a, a fantastic job from from where you've come from and where you are now. If you looked back and said, "I don't think we would ever be doing this where you guys are sitting right now," I think you should give yourself a, a big pat on the back, really, from selling yeah. your house to traveling around Australia and making content and showing people that you can do what you guys are doing is awesome. Definitely awesome, mm. I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, like I said, we are, we are we are proud. We are proud for sure. And like I said, any. Anyone can do it. We'll, we're no one special. We're just, you know, normal ass people that just want, like, wanted it and tried something new and just, just made it happen. Oh like, yeah, a lot of people just want stuff to just magically happen and aren't prepared to work for it or pay for it or anything. And, you know, that's what separates the ones that can go out and do it, I guess. But yeah, it's now we work with people day to day that are wanting to do themselves on their own journey to, you know, travel in Australia or, you know, making some extra money on the side to go on holidays more. Like, you know, that's our job now. So mm -hmm. I think um, like everyone that is currently watching would be saying the same thing. You've got to strive for excellence to get somewhere. Otherwise, you're just going to be day to day living, working for someone that you don't want to work for. So what you guys are doing is, is awesome, is, is something that I strive to do. If I get out of lockdown, I'm, they're, they're talking about it at the moment. I'm hoping we can get some more content going. But I must say, set up is awesome uh, um, i'm happy to get you guys on board i must say a big thank you for actually joining me today that was the one thing i didn't think you guys would actually respond back to me so that was a big thank you for that one i just wanted to see how no. you guys are traveling in general that was the the big main cause of this stuff is how you're going mentally yeah. like it, it is a big struggle obviously coming from a mortgage and and a, a job and and then everything sort of like condensed down into the car and the caravan and yeah, just yeah. seeing how everything plans out for the day, next day, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, like I said, it's an absolute pleasure, mate. Like, you know, we're, 
we're not the ones that are, you know, ignore people's messages and not do stuff like we're again we're just normal ass people doing our thing we're ourselves love the yeah. community love the community yeah. we reply to every single person that reaches out again we've put things out there before they, people do reach out to us for you know that aren't you know coping well and stuff and they're saying that our videos awesome. are getting them through and you know as simple as yeah, just having a quick chat about cars like it you know sort of makes their day and you know because they've just lost their job or something like you know that's what you know again it's what strives us to to you know do what we do i guess because again yeah. we're, just, we're just normal ass people we're no one special so oh no that's awesome um, i'm really glad to hear that you guys are still reaching out and helping people along i think that's the main thing in the environment coming across from melbourne and obviously new south wales as well there's a lot of people struggling i don't know there's a lot of people losing their jobs and they're obviously on, at rock bottom and um mm. for one of us just to call back or reach back and say hey and talk about i guess cars uh drones photography, whatever it could be, um, I guess could put them in the right set of mind and go, hey, these guys are just normal people. Or maybe I should try and see what they're doing and I should try and follow along and see if I can do it myself. I think that's the one thing you guys are such, I guess, showing and people like myself and others are going, I can do that, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, anyone can do it. Mm -hmm. yeah exactly. Yeah. A good one for you. Are you guys still working? So you did say you started your own business. Was that correct? And uh, you're just working from the from the caravan? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, yeah. The house. So yeah. The house. Like yeah. I, I, again, I was previously I ran a remedial massage therapist. I just worked for myself for six, seven years. Did it out of a CrossFit gym and then back at home and. You know, so oh, and I was running a childcare centre. So that was your, that was since you're eighteen. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Working in childcare since I was eighteen and built my way up. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, then we just sort of start. We're introduced to a, a company called Enagic. So they um they make yep. the only medical certified water ionizer in the world. So we're actually introduced to that by uh, a good friend of ours. He's a very very successful man, and again a, a great friend of ours. And just um we were introduced to the product in Adelaide. It's a little bit of a funny story. We were sort of one of them, you know, you know, sort of one of the mates sort of give give a little bit of shit. And you know, he he bought his water ionizer from Ballarat to Adelaide for a wedding. I'm like. Like, strapped the, in the front seat. He's strapped in the, the front seat. seat. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, what are you doing with that? And, um, and you know, of course, you know, I'm like, oh, mate, I'll, I'll drink your water for the weekend. He showed me and all that. And, you know, I, I had dad's rainwater that I knew thought was the best stuff ever and all this. And we started doing, you know, tests on the water and stuff. And, you know, he was really quickly, you know, proving me wrong and stuff. And um, and we drank drank the water all weekend that, it, that the machine creates. And it actually 95% cured our hangover on Sunday. So we're like... <laughs> After the wedding, and we're like, wow, we sort of couldn't. Once we went back to our filtered water from our fridge, and that we're like, shit, I can't, I can't drink this. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. and again, really missed it. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I started my massage business. I enjoy helping people. Um, so we, I started to, you know, getting a machine for ourselves. Actually, getting two of them, and then just experience the benefits for ourselves. Like I've raced motorbikes forever, so uh, yep. all my joint pain was gone. Uh, I really had chronic heartburn uh, that disappeared within a month. And then we started just sharing it with clients and actually my first client, um, she had lots of, lots of allergies that she had for forever and ever. And uh, within two days of uh, changing her water, it actually, actually solved one of, one of the allergies she had and she bought one. So that was our first sale. And I'm That's like, wicked. wow, like we're, we're onto something here. And, you know, then of course we started to get exposed to that, you know, people that already been traveling for two, three years, uh, they were using an adjic as well. And I'm like, shit, I can see, I can see how and why they are doing this. I've got a you know medical certified product, and you know the biz the company's been around for fifty years, mm -hmm. so you know patented business model. Like the certain, there's nothing else out there like it. So yeah. uh, and then we just sort of started to we took it nice and slow. Obviously, you know learn everything before we started blending into into traveling campus because you know it's they're no an adjective in no way an online marketing company or anything. But you know the power of the internet. I think that's probably the best thing of COVID is mm -hmm. you know. You can yes, even people if people that were going to high rise buildings can now work from, you know, Coral Bay if they live in Melbourne because all they need is the internet. Mm -hmm. So yep. it's that's probably the probably the only bonus of COVID of how it's sort of <laughs> um, you know how businesses can run and really had really had to you know shake things up a little bit and yep. um, but yeah we just started you know put put more time into that and then you know six months eight months uh, later we just you know we started you know getting the potential of, of the compensation plan and before we know it, we're replacing our, our incomes and and then yeah within eight months uh 12 months i was able to mccall packed I, up work yeah, i was out of work by 10 months yeah and then i was able to shut up my massage business and then yeah we we went for it so yeah now we're 
business is good, you know, 16, 17 yeah. months in and we're only getting started. But yeah, that's so we can do that um, anywhere we want as long as we've got internet, really. So we do about, you know, a couple hours a day. You know, we've had, a, yeah. you know, just sort of, again, sort of how, how we want to do it, really. So we've got a team yeah. of about 80, 90 people uh, that are active in the business online as well that we coach and mentor daily. So they're all on their own journeys doing bigger and better things than what we were doing at the start. Mm-hmm. So that's really rewarding for us and um but yeah that's all that's what we do so people awesome. people reach out every day asking how we do it you know there's a lot of people out there who think it's sketchy because it's on because it's on the internet and stuff like you know <laughs> and you know you get you get people like that as well but um that you yeah. know want to say na- nasty things or, or stuff like that but it's you know yeah. it's like anything you do like you see it with um you know youtubers you know influencers these days like you know people just think people see where you are now and go, oh, yeah, wish I could do that. Wish I, I could, wish do, I could do this. Yeah. Wish I could do this. And, yeah. and never, you know, never but, saw it. Yeah. Never, never exactly. saw where you originally came from, where you started, and how much you had to put in, and what time and effort and all the t- everything you've yeah. done to get to that position where you, you guys are now. Yeah, definitely. I, I, yeah. yeah. I know where you come from. Yeah, ex- yeah exactly. And yeah, and that's just, you know, they're not willing to, they know they can't do it for themselves. So their way of, feeling better about that is to, you know, put other people down. shit on something that, you know, to put you down to make them feel that little bit better. And that's the same. That goes on of every, everything. And, you know, especially at the moment with the whole bloody, you know, the COVID stuff and the vaccine stuff, like that's what you're seeing there with people that are doing to each other is just freaking crazy. Like just the stuff yeah. that you see the comments of people saying to people on that. And it's just, um, it's just ridiculous. So it's, it's, it's sort of the, it's sort of the same thing, but I'll, you know, we don't let it get to us, you know. It's, it's a very small minority of people that that think that, but we always just, you know, it's just the, you know, the good old saying, I guess, of like, um, you know, when you do, when you do great things, like, you know, many people will love you for it, but the majority will hate you because hate you. they yeah. they can't do it for themselves, or they can't do it for themselves. They, 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 yeah, they, they they find you as a, I guess, a threat, and they wish they could be a part of something that they can't really do at the moment, and they. I guess, yeah, it's, it's more of a threat thing as well. Like, you guys are doing an awesome job and obviously a, a thriving business going on and they just don't see the potential that if they did put all their time and effort into it, they could be doing exactly the same thing as you guys right now. So, yeah. yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. We'll go into some fun chats. Obviously, we'll get off yep. the uh, off that, <laughs> that that topic and we'll try and make it a little bit, a little bit more lighthearted. Um, Cool. How did you guys get into four wheel driving? You said you did motorbike riding, and uh, was it true you had a Colorado or something? We did, yeah. We had the old Colorado, so we actually we started off. We had a, I had an SSU. Um, nice. That's when Mikhail <laughs> started talking to me when I bought an SSU. So, <laughs> and um, yeah, so we and had, like we had the old man's camper trailer. It had a tow bar on it, so oh, that's yeah, good. old that's man's good. camper trailer. So, yeah, so we went. Yeah, went and did a long weekend trip to Rope in South Australia. Yeah. Um, yeah, took the camp trailer on the back of the SS and we thought, oh, we'll go down on the beach for a drive. Happy days. And then... <laughs> yeah, we got bogged on the... got the SS <laughs> bogged, like, bogged to the ass. So and bad. then um, <laughs> yeah. this little buddy Rav 4 thing come along and, and snatched me out and then the snatch strap broke and dinted me tailgate. And, like, we were just oh. absolute rookies. Like, and it just... It, it was nothing. a shit show. And I'm like, nah, like, this is it. So... Literally that Monday, we went in and saw a good mate, Ruben Davidson, from back home at the Holland dealership. And I'm like, trade it in. We're getting, get us, get us a ute. So we, on that, as soon as we got home, we literally went in and traded in for a Colorado. So that was our... And back then, you could, like, get a car and pick it up the next week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so that, that was our back first in... full... Yeah. Yeah, back in the day. Full, <laughs> yeah. First, first full drive. So then, um, then just, yeah, just went from there. Just we started to do... You know, having a four drive allows you to drive on beaches and, mm. you know, get to places that, you know, not but, everyone can go to. And, and we found yeah. we made so many more friends because we were able to do different things and go to yes. more places. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We just, we, just fell, we just fell in love with it and it just went from there. Um, then we started our page. Yeah. My brother had a Lotus Caravan that they bought um, to go around yeah. and then um, my, my parents bought it. So we're using mummy and daddy's caravan to do it to start off our thing. and Nothing you know, wrong with that. that. Nothing wrong with that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We took that thing up through Cape York and, you know, put it through creeks and all that stuff. And then yeah, that's how we sort of fell in fell in love with, with the Lotus Caravans. And that's where it yeah. sort of went from there. And then we ended up flooding the Colorado on that trip at Cape York as well. So, um, yes. you know, we got engaged the day before at Cape York and then flooded the car the next. So that was a... <laughs> That was our experience of our first crazy trip. Our first big trip, so it all <laughs> turned expensive. to shit. 
But um, that yeah, sounds like a mess. The, <laughs> that's when the patrol was born, so we needed a car to get home. They had a brand new one sitting there on the lot, so that cans. That's yeah, that's, that's how that sort of that started, and then yeah, and then here we are now. So <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely a big, a big snowball coming from the the SS all the way to a Y sixty two patrol. Um, I definitely yeah, think exactly. Was, uh, a stepping up there, the Y sixty two. I definitely love patrols, so a good choice there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I needed a V eight my life again, so we get best of both, yeah. both best of both worlds. Yeah, awesome. That's no, that's wicked. Um, where are you, what are you, what's the setup like currently? And um, is there a spot that you just want to go back to that you just really really liked? Um, and you just yeah. want to go back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, this, the the setup, the setup's amazing. Like the setup from where it's taken us, some of the places we had to park this thing and just call our home, like our front and yet backyard. Like you know, people keep asking, you know, how's your trip? And yeah, you know, like it's you get our, sick of it. it no, but like it, it's our lives. It's not. <laughs> yeah. It's not a trip for us now. Like it's literally yeah. our lives. So yeah. yeah, the setup's been been amazing. We've got some. Um, very exciting things happen in the next sort of month or two with our setup and all that stuff, which, um, yeah, hopefully the next month or so we're about to announce all that. So some massive things coming. Like next year for us is going to be freaking huge. So it's, um, oh, yeah. yeah, we're going bigger <laughs> and better. But destination-wise, you're going to cover this one? We liked Broome. Yeah. That's, yeah. Something, that's something we definitely want to visit again, but it is a long way to get up there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Our, our favourite spot. But our favourite yeah, our favourite is where we where we are right now. Yeah, Coral, Coral Bay. Bay. Like, yeah, Coral awesome. Bay is it's turned it on. Magic. It's um yeah, you know, I'm sure I've met many people a lot of people out there been to Robe the Beachport and stuff in South Australia. Sure it's has, kinda yeah. not the not the water, like but the sand driving and stuff is really reminding us of that. But the water out here, like literally oh, fifty metres out of our front door, like we we'll just we'll just before we'll we just went snorkeling. snorkeling through all the corals yeah. and stuff and like it's awesome. just stuff that you see on you see on movies and that it's like at our front doorstep. Yeah, really. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's weird. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely magic. You just got to time the wind over here. Like the we're at that time yeah. of the year where it's you know it the wind can make it an absolute hellhole or it's absolute just paradise. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but yeah, Coral Bay where we are. This is going to be a, this will be a place we come back and spend a few months. Mm. You know, uh, yeah, over fantastic. the year. So, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely amazing. loving it, and and Cape York, Cape York. Yeah. We're gonna go back to Cape ah, York. Ah, yes, the, the infamous Cape York. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. you can't you can't beat that place for four wheel drive. Imagine. It's just friggin' yeah. unreal. Awesome. Um, with your trip currently, uh, do you have like destinations you're sort of hitting for, or are you just sort of like finding a spot and just say, hey, just camp here for the day? What's what's the yeah, go there? What's, yeah. what's, what's what's plan? We don't we don't plan like yeah. we literally. <laughs> Yeah, like just we've just, we've rolled in some places at six seven o'clock and slept on the highway because this is where we've ended up. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, we just we just use Wikicamp, same as you know most people use that, yeah. and like that gets us everywhere. Mm -hmm. So that's that's <laughs> all we use now. And yeah, we don't. I think we've maybe booked one or two places. Um, just just for, because they were like maybe hard to get into. Yeah, yeah but okay. yeah, no, we, we we just wing it. Like we're leaving here. We just booked another night here. We're here for another. Uh, two nights and then like I didn't know where we're going after that. We just <laughs> yeah, literally went in the car. It's like where are we going? We just start driving and just just wing it. But we do have to be in Perth uh, start of November. We've got a few things going on there. Um, which yeah, so we're going to be down in Perth in a couple of weeks, and we'll be there for a couple of months around that area. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, yeah. So I had to organise a few things down there because it's a longer stay. But um, yeah, yeah. yeah it, we just we just wing it. It's the best way to go. <laughs> No, there's nothing wrong, or nothing wrong with going with the wind. Sometimes it's always a, a better adventure as well, I must say. Yeah. Um, this is a good one. I don't know if you guys, what you guys are doing, uh, uh, I guess, after or night times. Are you guys watching any movies, TVs, or are you just sort of planning and YouTube content? Like, what are you guys doing in the afternoons? Trying to wind down? What, what's the go? Yeah, like, it, it, depend, yeah. it depends on what, what's going on. Like, you Coverage, know. Yeah, coverage-wise. Yeah, yeah phone reception-wise. Yeah. Like, we've been, trying to, we've been trying to put out weekly YouTube episodes. Like, YouTube's solely just yes. fun for us. Like, you know, we do get paid a bit for it, but that, that doesn't mean nothing to me. It's just, it's pure fun, building, expanding our brand, sharing our travels, memories. Uh, you know, we miss our family back home. So, that feels like, yeah. to them, it feels like we're still there because they're seeing us yeah. talking and, you know, laughing and having yeah. fun every, each week. So, um, but what I was getting out there, like, you know, you shit, like, our episode just went live before and I started making that, like, yesterday morning. Like, I, oh, really? it was wow. extremely, <laughs> extremely last minute. I had to smash it, smash it together. And, um, but yeah, usually we try and, we try and wind down. Sometimes we go too much 
you know, phones and, you know, mm-hmm. depending, depending on what's going on in the business and, you know, yeah. YouTube and, you know, reception or not. But we have been trying to just wind down a bit, watch uh, Netflix. So yeah. Did he catch nice. up on the we like watching on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah we watch our, our friends on YouTube, support their channel and stuff as well. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I uh, just finished watching Squid Game. I'm sure which is everyone else. <laughs> 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 but then, yes. then watching all the like how they made it, like looking up everything. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, look up like all the hints. Like yeah, so many hints. All these hints, like all the games, were, all the games I did were on the friggin' wall the whole time. On the wall, like, yes, they are behind everyone. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, my, yeah, no spoil alerts, but yeah, so we're, we're good as yeah, geeking into that stuff, but. Yeah, yeah, we we download we download Michaela downloads YouTube um episode oh, sorry oh, sorry Netflix movies and stuff oh, um, while we have receptions. Oh, okay. yeah. There's a lot of times we don't have receptions, so yeah. we just have um I we've watched Upper Middle Bogan like oh. twenty oh, very times good. The, yeah, whole, awesome. the whole the whole thing. It's the best show. It's the best it is show. yes. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah but... that's sort of how we we kill kill time really, and then just sort of switch it off and go to sleep yeah. really. But yeah. We like our Netflix and YouTube. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Who is the drone pilot out of you two? So I know you guys do some pretty wicked drone shots. Is hell yeah, okay. It is you, Josh. Yeah, but, <laughs> it's a touchy I, subject. I've been trying oh. to get Michaela for ages. So I'm like, your one job is to learn how to fly the freaking drone. Like, because I'm there trying to like, you know, you're running the trees. Trying, trying to drive, drive yep. trying to fly the drone. And yeah, you, know, you use follow mode and stuff. But yep. um, yeah, I'm there. I'm the pilot. I'm so scared I'll crash it, and I just know <laughs> if I crash it. <laughs> no, gonna, yeah, yes, no. you will. Yes, I, I, yeah, I do yeah. get where you're coming from. I, I, I'm a qualified drone pilot, so oh, I'm yeah. a bit touchy. Yeah, I'm a bit touchy when it comes to, I guess, my partner flying the drone. It, they have their auto follow stuff, but I know yeah. where you're coming from, Josh. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, yeah so, we, cra- we crashed ours into a tree in Fraser with oh. using follow mode. So we've we've had we've had a few experiences, but she's had a tough life. Yeah, she's had, yeah, she's still going strong though. But yeah, yeah I'm, I'm the main I'm the main camera editor. Michaela and Michaela does the GoPro work filming. So um, yeah, and I edit. I like editing the photos and all that. Yeah, yeah we don't edit that much. We, we keep yeah. our stuff real. Like, we don't really touch yeah. it up that much. But yeah, um, yeah I'm sort of yeah. The, editor and all that stuff as well so we do everything ourselves so yeah, yeah awesome. we enjoy it and I'm, I'm guessing you both is just self-taught you've just grabbed the i guess the yeah. equipment just seeing how it's going or learn on youtube is that is that right are you the photographer yeah, man. Is that yeah. Correct? Yeah. yeah yeah sort of yeah everything we've done is just yeah like you know i just i just got photoshop um yeah. I, I, i've got photoshop and then i want to start making my own logos and stuff so i've downloaded that nice. and what i just start good, yeah good old youtube yeah you know, youtube tutorial. youtube tutorials yeah. you just start playing with stuff and just you just figure it out mm-hmm. like you know it's just everything we've done is this all self Trial and error. yeah all self-taught absolutely nice that's all that's wicked i think they're the things that like people need to realize that it takes a bit of time you have to teach yourself yeah. otherwise right. if you're not going to help like put the hard yards in you're not going to get the end of the end product, I guess. So yeah, yeah. definitely, that's cool. That is awesome to hear. I, I'm I'm cool. Yeah. That's man. yeah, wicked. Um, <laughs> for the weekends, is there anything else you guys are killing time? Obviously, you are doing the traveling. Is there any little projects going on? Do you uh, like cooking? I guess. Um, do you have any like hobbies like music? Is there anything else you guys are doing to kill time when you get the chance? <laughs> yeah. Um, projects and that like. Our projects are really making our video, <laughs> making yeah. our videos and stuff. But we do yeah. we do enjoy cooking, yeah, like you know, yeah, we do like yeah. cooking. depending where we are and stuff. And you know, what supplies you can get. We really like when oh, we're yeah. when we have no reception. Uh, we you know you find a mad camp and no one's around. Like that's when we'll you know go to the effort of just putting a good roast on and getting mm-hmm. creative having and fire. yeah, having a yeah, fire like, and depending where we are. yeah, we do love our cooking like that. Just we have no distractions like you now, no messages and stuff coming through. So we just enjoy our time, enjoy each other, and and that's that's what we really like doing. But yeah, you yeah. know, I guess we can't we like really cleaning. Yeah, <laughs> clean. Yeah, cleaning is a big thing. Like that's a, we 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 just like having stuff clean all that gear. It's, you know, we obviously. Give Everyone it. says to us, oh, it's because you don't have kids. That's why everything's so clean. <laughs> um, Hang on. We have a you golden retriever. Have... Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. You do have. You... Dog, you know, yeah, you do have. Yeah, you do have yeah. a you do have a little one. You have a, a little fairy friend. So I guess that would yeah. be a child for you too. 
yeah, yeah but, exactly yeah, we still keep everything clean so. yeah but yeah we're, we're always busy like there's always stuff going on but yeah now we you know at the moment we've been like you know we've snorkeling. been bought snorkels like we yeah. didn't have them so we've just been snorkeling and you know we're trying to learn more about fish and stuff like yeah, i'm the, more about marine life and, yeah you yeah. know just i'm the shittest we're both the shittest fishermen ever but we're trying to <laughs> get trying to get better and trying to learn and just you know because we're around the stuff all the time so yeah we just find their little hobbies and interests all the time mm. yeah awesome no that's wicked that's really cool like if you didn't have those little hobbies and i guess interests would be a little bit boring but in saying that as well you are traveling around australia and i'm assuming there's always something fun funny or something happening along the road that you are well what is that kind of thing i'm assuming yeah is that right like kangaroos animals yes. like have you come across anything like that like animals crossing your path what's the i guess major yeah. thing you've seen so far yeah oh we've seen some crazy stuff like no. even yeah crocodiles is one of the biggest things like when we're in Ent oh no that yeah. was no sorry that was in kananara yeah kananara like we had like a five five and a half meter salty like <laughs> just across that <laughs> he was there for like a week and then we went out Across for a day the the we went for a day trip for drive and then we come back and it, it took a cow off the bank like right where right where our, our caravan was on the water Whoa. so um yeah that was pretty pretty crazy but even to swim with the fish and stuff out there like you know, that's stuff we've watched on videos for years and years. So just to sort of be experiencing that, like, I've got the motorbike, so I go out. That's sort of our, you know, we obviously, you know, spend 24-7 together, which isn't a drama, but, you know, like, I'll go out for a motorbike ride for half a day. So that's our sort of time away, and I'll just sort of go yes. do my thing. But, yeah, up in Darwin, I come across, like, big wild boars and stuff. Like, you just sort of get to these <laughs> spots, and you're like, geez, I've never seen that before. And, yeah, it's just, mm. it's just cool. Is it, there's a difference between watching it on a video that actually – seen it and seeing it experience yeah. for yourself yeah. and just seeing it in your own eyes is uh is freaking cool but yeah like yeah, awesome. just lots of different different animals around but yeah the crocs and that's probably the biggest thing because you have know, victoria there's no crocs so once you sort of <laughs> yeah. see one in person it scares the shit out of you at the start but then you sort of like you just get used to it like they're just around they're just i always a... thought oh my gosh no i'd never be anywhere near a crocodile especially a saltwater crocodile mm. but it's fine yeah it's just fine see, yeah. Croc -wise. Yeah, yeah. Yep. very good. Oh, awesome. Yeah, with yeah, with the bike, you did say you have your own bike, a, use a KTM. When are you throwing your leg back over the bike? Is there anything you sort of want to, I guess, get out and try and do? Yeah, so I'll get out, I'll get out on it quite a fair bit. So it's fully registered, so I can ride it, ride it wherever. So I just did a whole day yesterday actually out on the bike, just exploring around. Like, is this so easy just to, just to take random tracks and you, you just, you know, it's so much quicker than you go down tracks, you wouldn't take a car down and. And you find some friggin' amazing spots. So, yeah, like, yeah, I raced for 16, 17 years. Um, of nights that they had a des race, which is the biggest des race in Australia. So we've done our done our racing. That's what we did. You know, that was our main hobby before traveling. That's why I had to give it up to, you know, that, that was an expensive exercise. But I ended up, yeah, mm. doing a race in Port, in Port Hedland, in Port Hedland just maybe a month or a month or so ago. So um, that's the first time I raced a motocross race in eight years. It's a little bit of a... A little bit of a fun thing, you know, I was riding a bit more, I was sort of getting the enjoyment back for it because, you know, it sort of become a bit of a chore for me back when I was racing all the time. Like, I wasn't enjoying Not riding enjoying it, as yeah. much as I should have, and that's what sort of made me stop racing. Um, yep. But I'm enjoying it more than ever now. So, it's, yeah, having that's been great. So, we've actually, that's an option through Lotus now. So, more, it's more and more people now taking their dirt bikes on trips and stuff, and it's just awesome, yeah. awesome to see to take the toys with you and, um, yeah, we're going to try and do a few more races along the track. We've got a new, got a brand new one sitting down in Bunbury for us, waiting for us Ooh. down there to pick up. So, nice. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's exciting. So, um, but yeah, that's been awesome. We, we do miss our mountain bikes, though. That's one thing we, yeah. we really? miss. So, right. Yeah, nice. that's one thing we one thing we miss. So, we, so, yeah, we might next year we might take some mountain bikes with us, just to, more so for the exercise part of it, just yeah. to, you know, that's one thing. Like, you start... It's very easy to start drinking piss every night, and uh, <laughs> and you know you're sort of like we're, we're not the ones to get up and go for a run either. Yeah, like yes. we're we big yeah. into CrossFit and F45. Like you know, I love being fit and healthy, but that like yeah, yeah. and we, we still we still keep fit and healthy. But we do need to, you know, the ratio of drinking and exercising does get out of hand a little bit when you yeah, <laughs> especially when you meet new people all the time, and you know you do a, you know it's like you do a four drive trip, and at the end of the all you want to do is just snap a can around the fire. Like if you yep. If yep. you're there with a with a T, it's just not right. <laughs> yes, I I, de I definitely understand. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where you're coming from. As soon as you get that fire going, you're 
I'm pretty sure that the beer is no, or the, the drink is normally already in your hand, and you're like, oh, yeah, oh, I might as well start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> no, awesome. I must say, that's, you guys are doing some awesome stuff, and I must say again, a big thank you for joining me today. I'll I'll, I'll leave it at this one. We won't make it. I won't make it any more longer because I know you guys got some other things you probably are pressing that needs to be done. Maybe some more YouTube stuff so you can crank that out throughout the week instead of leaving it last minute. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. that's a really good idea, actually. And look, hey, we might be in touch one day, mate. Maybe I might, maybe I might need a drone pilot one day. That'd be freaking cool. All for it. yeah, definitely, dude. I'm all for it. I uh, I can fly all the way up to 25 kilos, and I can use a fixed wing. So that's airplanes as well. So that's what I do for my living. I'm a wow. qualified yeah drone pilot and surveyor. So that's what I do. Or a couple of guys I think had the um, FPVs. Are they, are they the real fast? The fast ones, yes, yeah. That um, that really made me want to. They were some of the stuff they were doing there. Was the guys from um from Swiss Eight, uh, the 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 army guys there. They all had this um, they had some footage following car. That 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 is freaking. That's they're next level. Trophy, yeah, they're following the trophy trucks. Oh, the there, trophy yeah. trucks. Yes, yeah. There was some yeah. pretty cool content coming from that when they're sort of right behind following the car and swinging out. Yeah, they do some awesome acrobatic stuff. Those type of drones, and they are super expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, imagine. <laughs> yeah. But I must say, once again, a big thank you for joining me today. I just wanted to see how both of you are going and what's been happening and your traveling experiences and how you got into forward driving. I guess that might have helped some people that are currently watching us. And hopefully you guys, the people that are watching realize you guys are just, just general people doing the, the things that you love doing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, like I said, we appreciate it, man. Look, anyone that has watched or jumped on or going to watch the replay or whatever, like again, you know, the main reason behind this was obviously just, you know, chatting and getting our minds off all the shit that's going on. You know, everyone's got their own, you know, personal situation of what's going on and all that. But yeah, again, you know, everyone knows that they're, you know, if they don't know, they're free to reach out to us at any time. Like, it's just a, just a chat or whatever, or, you know, you need, need a serious chat, like, whatever. Like, we're open to, to everything. Again, we're just, yeah, normal people love what we're doing, same interests. And, you know, we've, you know, we experienced, you know, some of it, you know, not as hard as what it is now, but you know, yeah. we know how we know how it feels. So, yeah, again, anyone always reach out, chat. You know, it's it's what it's all about. That's it. That's it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm 100 on the page with that, guys. If there is anything yeah. anyone needs, remember DM, text, call. We're always pretty easy to try and reach. Um, and more more than happy for either of us, all of us, to just have a chat. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes yeah. it's just might just help that one person out. So, yeah. I'll leave it at this one, guys. But thank He's you right. again right. for joining me. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. And uh, hopefully you get some more photos and some snaps and some drone shots along the way. Well, all right. Thanks, Ace. I really thank appreciate you. it. Bye, guys. See you. See you, man. Bye.